Okay, I just watched something very cool that I was very excited about that I know is way out of my depth, but the way that this dialogue happened was super interesting to me because there were two speakers that I saw on the Piers Morgan Show, and one was Sean Carroll, who's an amazing speaker of science. I love watching his YouTube videos. He just speaks about space and the universe in just such a beautiful, poetic way, and I respect him so much. I love his stuff. Like him and Brian Cox, like they're brilliant. They're so soothing to listen to. And then I saw that he was debating Eric Weinstein, who isn't as soothing, but he really seems like he knows what he's talking about. Like he uses a lot of terminology for math and physics that I know I am by no means qualified to say if he knows what he's talking about, but the big words sure do sound convincing. And so I will totally acknowledge if I'm overestimating his intelligence here. Maybe. But here's the way the dialogue went that was just so utterly fascinating to me. So Eric wound up saying like, look, I've been in this field for a long fucking time. All right. And I was in the room when Ed Witten wound up really changing the whole collective sway of where physics went because he's a very intimidating guy. And the direction that he went with physics is all way you could go with physics. But you kind of forgot another way that you could go with physics. And I'm going to show you what that way is. And the reason why my way is so important is because with the other way that everyone's going right now, which Sean Carroll's line of physics, the best that we could do is probably get to Mars and that's it. And if that's the case, then we're fucked. All right, because the sun is going to keep on growing. We know this. The sun is going to keep on growing and we're not going to be able to live on Mars. It's just going to eat the whole fucking solar system. We have to find a way out of here. And he's saying this is very important. If we just stick all of our energies with you, we're, we're all going to die. I have a idea of physics that I think could actually get us to the stars. And I think it's legitimate and worth considering. And I'm kind of shocked that nobody's taking this seriously. Everyone keeps on fucking wasting their time on this line right here. When there's a line here that I actually think is really fucking valuable. Can we talk about it? Now, Sean Carroll comes back and says something along the lines of like, I'm, I'm more convinced by Eric's argument. So you can see if I'm, if I'm heavily weighing him. But Sean Carroll winds up saying like, I don't really enjoy the fact that I have to represent all of scientific orthodoxy. It's a really kind of shitty position to be in, but I'm going to try anyway. So I really appreciated that, that human side of him. But he wound up saying like, look, this is the best model. And it's like really getting us like good results and good math. And yes, there are some things we haven't answered. And yes, we can do better. But if you got a better theory, then show it. And if you're not going to show it, then like, why should we take it seriously? And Eric's like, look, I fucking showed it. I'm I'm going to groups at MIT and I'm talking with people about it. I'm, I'm presenting this paper and I am actually fucking talking about this. Why are you saying that I'm not? Why are you dismissing me? And then Sean Carroll's like, look, but if that was the case, look, I got your paper right here. And you know what? I didn't really see anything in here that like convinced me, like show me some tables or something. And Eric's like, look, you said that you didn't fucking read the paper and it clearly kind of seems like you didn't because this paper is a little bit out of your depth because A, you're not a tenured professor. B, you're not even a physicist. Like, oh, God. And he's saying, homie, you're out of your depth. All right. This is just out of your pay grade and you can't understand the level, this level of physics. That's cool. You got lots of other stuff that you're great at. But here you're playing with the big boys and you kind of don't know what you're doing. At least that's what Eric seemed to be saying and it wasn't entirely dismissive of like masculinity and whatnot it was definitely my own projection coming in there but this whole language of like look you're just not understanding this and that's it and i'm sure that if we actually sat together for a week and talked then you would be able to understand this and you'd be on my side but you're not and the reason why i think that you're not and this is where shit got really fucking spicy for me is because you're a science influencer all right you're one of those people that are talking about the trends of science, but you don't kind of really know what you're talking about. You're a commentator, but you're not in there. Basically, you're like Stephen A. Smith, and you're trying to talk to somebody that's actually playing in the NBA. That's my equivalent here, right? I watch basketball, and I see a lot of commentators talk shit that they, they have no chance of playing well in the league at all, apart from the retired players. And I think that's kind of what he's saying about Sean Carroll. And I don't know if that's true. I honestly don't know. Like, I, I am by no means able to judge if Eric Weinstein's theory is valid and if it's good science. And I'm not able to say if Sean Carroll doesn't know what he's talking about in terms of physics or if this is out of his depth or if any of the mathematical terms that Eric Weinstein said were qualified. But I think that this was such 
a pivotally important dialogue. Like this was on, I think Piers Morgan is mainstream television, isn't he? Like, I, I think so. You want to saying he had the last interview with Stephen Hawking? I don't know. I've, I've, I remember seeing Reddit not say good things, but that doesn't matter. It's a popular show. It's a big show. All right. This is a big show. And you have two physicists debating what direction we should go with physics in the future. And both of them are essentially trying to discredit the other person's career. Basically, Sean is saying, Eric, you're not qualified. You're not following the process. You're kind of not doing anything and kind of trying to like dismantle his career, not like thoroughly dismantle one, but discredit him on this huge show. And then Eric's like, buddy, you know what? You're actually not qualified for this either. You're not tenured. You're not a physicist. And you know what? You don't understand this. I read recently when we cease to understand ourselves. It was an amazing book. And it talked about like how a lot of scientists and mathematicians wind up pushing science really, really far and doing extremely dangerous things about it. And I, I kind of like knowing a little bit about the history of science and understanding how some mathematicians are just like, hey, I got too far, I gotta leave. And I can't let anyone else know about this. And they go to the woods and they hide because they know some things that could really change the future of the universe and of our subjective experience. And seeing this on TV and seeing two people talk about this really seems pivotal and important to me. And I was amazed. I don't know what's going to happen next. I'm just very impressed and I want to share some of my joy here. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.